Alright, so it's Paul here again, and uh, this video is going to be dedicated to long-term care pharmacists and what they do on a daily basis. So there, first to start off, there's two types of long-term care pharmacists. There's the staff pharmacist, and then there's the uh, consultant long-term care pharmacist. So the consultant long-term care pharmacists go out to these nursing homes, and they basically review the, me the patient's chart, look at the medications, and try to optimize therapy you know, based on drug interactions, duplications of therapy, or therapies that shouldn't be continued anymore. Uh, you know, they've been on it for a long time, or the patient's better now, they don't need a certain medication, you know, or there's ex excessive amount of medications on the patient's profile that they can get rid of. And then they kind of communicate with the providers to try to, you know, eliminate these issues and optimize therapy. And you know, other times they uh, consultant pharmacists go to these nursing homes when the providers go there, and they go along as a team, and they go and, and visit these patients, talk to them, and bring up any issues that come up. Just similar to inpatient pharmacy with clinical rounds, it's just not on a daily basis. It's more like maybe once a month or once a week. You know, just dependent on uh, the long-term care facility and what they their needs are, and so. They go and do these rounds, they, uh, then they discuss what the patient needs and the pharmacist is there to act as a drug information specialist. Any questions or dosing that the providers need help on, the pharmacist is there to help. And the pharmacist is there to bring up any issues that they have noticed looking through the chart themselves. So that's kind of a very short uh, summary of what a consultant long-term care pharmacist does. And then there's the staff. Uh, long-term care pharmacists as well which work at the central location where the uh, medications are dispensed from and so these pharmacists you know verify all the orders coming in from the providers they uh, act as information um, specialists for the nurses you know nurses call a lot and ask a lot of, of questions about drugs and anything that they have concerns with and uh, the doctors also call here to ask about dosing as well. And so these pharmacists um, verify orders, you know, do the same thing as staff clinical in, uh, staff far inpatient pharmacists, very similar to them. They, you know, verify orders, they look for drug interactions, allergies, uh, any medications that shouldn't be there. And they also do a lot of IV therapy in the long-term care setting as well. You know, they monitor vancotrophs, you know, antibiotics, TPNs, uh, total parental nutrition, as I mentioned in a video before. Uh, same type of things as a inpatient hospital pharmacist, except it's not as acute, you know, in the long-term setting, long-term care setting. You know, these are patients that are transitioning from the hospital that aren't that sick anymore that the, the hospital took care of them and now they're transitioning to long-term care before they can either be sent home or they just permanently stay in a nursing home so these are patients that can't take care of themselves at home but uh, they're not sick enough to be in the hospital so that's kind of the patient uh, population you'll be seeing in long-term care and and these these are the things that these pharmacists do so I hope that gives you a better understanding of what long-term care pharmacy is about. And uh, comment below on what you think, you know, any questions, and remember, eat your vegetables. <laughs>